This chapter will provide a checklist of the various settings needed when working with MIDI in Samplitude or Sequoia. More experienced users may wish to skip this section. I'm going to show the different ways you can insert a virtual instrument. I will also cover the necessary preparations needed to record a MIDI performance. If you're using an external keyboard controller, you will need to have the correct MIDI input selected. Open the MIDI I.O. panel and choose the input to which your keyboard is connected. If your keyboard input is not showing in the list, press Y to open the system options and click on the MIDI tab. Make sure the correct MIDI input for your keyboard is enabled where it says MIDI in. Click OK to confirm. You can add a virtual instrument from the MIDI I.O. panel. Click on the MIDI out slot and you will see a list of your VSTIs under New Instrument. Alternatively, you can use the Plugins panel below. Left click on one of the slots and you will see the available VSTIs at the bottom. These slots also let you insert VST effects and Magix effects as well. You can hide and show these panels by clicking on the panel header. It's also possible to load virtual instruments from the track plugin slot. If the plugin slot is not showing, click on the track number to expand the track vertically. The plugin slot should now be visible. You can also insert virtual instruments from the mixer. Open the mixer by using the keyboard shortcut M. You can then add your VSTI by left clicking on the insert slot of the desired track. For this initial example, I'm going to use the Native Instruments B4 Hammond Organ Emulation. As soon as the VSTI is loaded, the track gets designated as a MIDI track. MIDI tracks are given a pinkish hue, although the colour may vary depending on what skin you are using. You will also see that the MIDI button of the track editor is now highlighted. The Record, Enable and Monitoring buttons both need to be turned on in order for you to record and monitor your live performance. You should now be able to hear your virtual instrument when you play your keyboard. If you can't hear anything, make sure Input Monitoring is enabled. Input Monitoring can be turned on from the transport. Or you can enable it from the menu item Play Record Monitoring, Input Monitoring. Although you will normally get a prompt if Input Monitoring is not enabled when inserting a virtual instrument. If you right click on the Transport Monitoring button, you will find two useful options. These are Automatic MIDI Record Switch on Current Track and also Automatic MIDI Monitoring Through. Having these two settings ticked, means whatever MIDI track you select will automatically be record and monitor enabled. Although if you want to record enable multiple MIDI tracks, you need to turn off automatic MIDI record switch on current track. I also suggest you enable MIDI overdub. This means you can do looped recording without erasing the previous take. If you do want to remove the previous take, leave this setting at normal. There is also a replace mode which can be used to replace a section of a previously recorded MIDI part. To use the metronome, right click where it says click on the transport to open the metronome options. I'm going to choose active while record with a pre-count of one bar. You can choose to record with or without MIDI input quantize. MIDI input quantize will automatically quantize your performance using the active quantize setting. MIDI input quantize can be enabled on a per track basis by clicking on the input Q button on the track editor. You can also choose to enable it globally from the MIDI menu under Extended MIDI Quantize MIDI input Q Global. Set your quantize resolution from the Q menu drop down list. I'm leaving it set to 1 8th. I'm going to quickly name that track B4. So now I'm ready to record the MIDI part. <laughs> 